census is an exercise which usually happens every 10 years indian census is one such exercise which provides us information about different characteristics from the population of india a census is nothing but a systematic procedure where we try to acquire and record information and this information is about the different attributes of the population this raw or unorganized information that we acquire is nothing but called a data and when we talk about census or something to do with data we usually talk about statistics so let us see what all happens when we are dealing with a data in a census firstly a data collection is done over the whole population of a country and it comprises various details of every usual resident of the country like name gender place of birth education occupation etc now if this data was just about a family then it would have been easier to work with this but since we are dealing with a data of the whole population so to make it convenient we start by organizing this large data for example take a look at this data from the recent indian census we got a data about the population size of india now we can further organize it in terms of gender or we can organize it in terms of region rural or urban or we can go ahead and organize it in terms of both gender and region so organization of a data totally depends on what kind of data we are dealing with and what are the requirements of an individual now a systematic organization always leads to an appropriate analysis of a data like from the recent census of 2011 it was found that the density of population in india is 382 persons per square kilometer or the sex ratio which is females per 1000 male is nothing but 943 so this kind of reports or the analysis is nothing but the results that we get from this kind of data also the analysis of a data helps us to determine the best course of action we can take and then we can base our decision on how we really interpret this kind of analysis so i can say india is a densely populated country with a low sex ratio and the literacy rate is also not that great but i can improve this kind of interpretation so while comparing the analysis data of 2001 and 2011 we can say the density of population has indeed increased which means space for individual is gradually decreasing Similarly the sex ratio has also improved but still it is very less also the literacy rate has taken a shoot but it only inspires us to do better as far as implementing the education is concerned so these are the kind of interpretations we can make out of the analysis report of a data also this whole data analysis can be summarized and represented in many ways this is called presentation of a data Now this section of handling the data is the most vibrant and creative way of visual presentation. For example, take a look at this map of India showing the distribution of population across the country. So the red region is nothing but the region which is highly populated, followed by the yellow region and the green region. So this whole data involving numbers has been color coded and it has been presented in a way which is very simple and easy to understand. This was one of the method of presentation there are many other ways of presenting a data one such method is by drawing graph the other method is by drawing a pie chart so in short statistics is nothing but the study which involves collection organization analysis interpretation and presentation of a data The complete course for grade 10 CBSE Math is available in pen drive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.